Hi. Our next two parts of the face we are going to do are the uh, nose and the mouth. But let's review what we did last time. Last time we did a side view of the ear and it was fairly narrow and we did our eye. Okay. So remember that um, when we're drawing the parts of the face everything is relating to the eye. So on my paper my bottom line is representing the nose line, which we made on our face map, and the top line is representing um, the eye line. Okay, so that's kind of our point of reference. And I've made a couple marks here on the side of my paper, and that's representing the space between the eyes. Okay, so that's the general location where the nose is going to go. Alright, so we are going to start with, um, last time we talked about how the longest part of the nose was the center. And so I want you to take your index fingers and put it underneath your nose. And when you do that, you'll notice, even if you're not looking in the mirror, that your fingers are pointed like a V. So that is where we're going to start. We also talked about the fact that the tip of our nose is round. So we're going to start the nose with a round shape, okay? And that will help us when we add the shadowing. We also talked about the nostrils being small circles. So we're just really lightly going to put those in, okay? The center part of our nose is called the bridge. And so the bridge of our nose comes up and goes all the way to the top of our eyebrow or our eye line there. We don't want it to be too narrow. And when we're using the nostrils, we're going to create the bottom of the nose first. So we're using this shape to create our, our nostril or our, the bottom of our nose line. Okay. Now we made our circle shapes here, so our nostrils are going to come outside that shape, come up a little bit taller, so it's a little bit like a parenthesis, all right? So there's the basic structure of our nose. We're going to not draw an open circle for the nostril. So we talked about kind of an apple seed shape. And now we're going to start shading like you would with a sphere. And so we're going to build the shadow up a little bit on the side. And when we're thinking about shading this sphere, the end of our nose, the bottom, is turning under. So we have shadow on the bottom. And the highlight is sort of in this center part. Yeah. Okay, so um, we have we have this um, highlight here, and we have the nostrils, and now we're going to build the form. Okay, so we're building the form, and we're going to be adding the shadow. We're starting in the center part, and then we'll come back and add the add the nostrils. Okay. So that's what we're, how we're going to develop that. So some people actually have a shadow here in the center part. And it actually is a knob. 
Many people don't have that, and our nostrils on the side are not flat either, but they do have this highlight part, and so that circle that we put in the, in the beginning just reminds us that our nostril is not flat. And we have a little shadow valley in here on the side. And we have a shadow valley on this side. And so we're going to build up the light and the shadow. And we want to leave it open on the bottom. This is where our nose hooks into onto our face. And for the size of the nose, maybe those nostril openings need to be just a little bit bigger. So our nose is going to look flat if we don't have light values, medium values, and dark values. So generally speaking, the darker shadows on the nostrils will be at the side. And usually, one side of the nose is darker than the other. And the middle, or the bridge, this is called the bridge, is the lightest value of all. Now, if you look at different ways of building a nose, you might see slightly different approaches, but it's kind of the same thing. I can think of the bridge of the nose or a line traveling across the contour of the nose, and then come back and erase out the highlight. That's one approach. And this shadow doesn't just stop abruptly at the side of the nose it comes out into the side of the face. All right, so I'm gonna come back with my darker pencil and build in a little bit more dark value. And remember that it's important as I'm shading to get a little bit of distance from my drawing because if I'm working right on top of it, it's hard to tell sometimes how the values are going, where it's looking too flat. Where I need more shadow. And so it's not just a one and done. We have to build the form while we're working on it. We're building, building, building. And again, I can have my shadows be more smooth, or I can have them be more sharp. Okay, so there's our nose. The highlight's still a little bit big, so maybe I'll come back and add a little bit more value there. Light value, so the highlight is just in one area. Now, this is also a nose, and it's a little taller, a little narrower at the top. Okay, similar approach, all right? So that kind of gives you an idea of the range of noses. And here, let's look at another one. Okay, so that gives you three to look at, but we do want to keep in mind that our nose is made up of three parts. The largest part is in the center, and the longest part, that V we made at the beginning, it's a shallow V, but it is one, two, and the longest part is here. Okay, so let's put our noses aside, and now we're going to work on our lips, our mouth, okay? So the mouth, remember, is made up of three parts. Um, this upper lip, the bottom lip, and then the part that goes between the nose and the upper lip. And this drawing doesn't show it very well, so let's take a look at our face map. 
So this is a part that we're going to have. Now we're not going to shade this a lot today, but we are going to set it up so we have one, two, three parts for the lip, okay? If we look at this drawing, you can see we have three parts to the lip, okay? One, two, three. All right, so the first thing I'm going to, I have to do is set up, this is the nose line, this is the lip line, and remember that we lined up on our face map, the lips line up with the center of the eye. So just like I did with the nose, that's what this is representing, the center of the eye. And because we have that imaginary line going down the middle of the face, that is representing this line down the middle of the face. Okay, so that's going to orient us. And I see my space is a little bit big, so. Um, okay, so. The first thing I have to do is divide this into three equal shapes.